Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Bulkum. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint Custodes Power Blades. If you'd like to support the channel, my coffee and Patreon page are linked below. Now on to the video. So the first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Araman Blue. We're going to use this to coat the whole of the blade. So you just want a nice smooth Araman Blue layer on this. Once that's done, we can move on to the next part. Do this ever so slightly different to the way you usually do power blades, so you'll see that here. In terms of getting that dark and light blue working together with the lightning over the top. So now we're going to use some Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade, and this is going to be to shade that blade's edge down. So because you've got that concave there, we're using the shade to pull a little bit in the recess of that blade, that concave section that runs from the top to the bottom. And then once that dries, you will have a nice, easy, light blue to dark blue blade. So we're going to use some Citadel Araman Blue in the first instance here. And what we're going to do is drag the brush away from the center of the blade towards the blade's edge. And just do lots of little lines across there to get so you haven't really got a smooth edge to it. You've just got that nice light blue running all the way across the edge of the blade. We're also going to do this on the flat of the blade, the little section around the Aquila, just before you get to that concave. What that'll do is that'll really set off the distinction between the light blue and the dark blue between those two sections of the blade, so the concave will really stand out as having that darkness to it. And although it's only a shade and the Araman blue, when we come to paint on the kind of lightning effects over the top of that, that'll take the eye away from the background, so you'll just look like this really nice light blue and dark blue blade, when in fact it's not really taking that much time to do. And it looks pretty decent. So still using Citadel Araman blue here. I thought I'd do it in two separate parts rather than just doing one bit and then you come back and see it. So what we're doing is doing not quite straight lines, they're almost at a zigzag I suppose, like lightning, sort of like a little bit of a back and forth bumpy line from the edge of the blade all the way up to that half a quiller at the top of the blade. And this is going to be the effects for the power field around the blade. We'll have this in that kind of nice light blue to white lightning kind of effect. So we'll have it lighter at the edge of the blade and at the top of the blade where it joins the Aquila. Also where it crosses over. If you've got two little bits of those lightning things either crossing over or joining together, then you will have a nice lighter bit in that too. But for now, all we're doing is adding the little lightning effects for the power field to the blade. Then we can move on to the next colour. So next up, we are going to be using a little bit of white mixed with the Araman Blue. We're going to start lightening these lightning effects at the edge of the blade at the Aquila where it first comes out and also any sections where those little lightning effects kind of cross together or join together. You're going to add this to these areas making sure that if you've got a long piece of the lightning that's untouched by an edge, a join or anything like that that it will have that Araman blue in the middle. So if you think of it like a centimetre you're going to have the whole centimetre painted Araman blue then on the next layer, which is this one, you would have the centre 2mm would be Araman blue and the rest would be this colour. And then as you're... So I was just distracted by the cat crossing the camera there. That was Linnet 2 getting in the way, as she often does. Well, yeah, so you'd have the, the 2mm in the middle would be Araman blue. And then you would have this shade covering the rest of it and then on the next layer you would have two mil of Araman blue, a mil each side of this shade 
then you would have the next shade going from that part to the edge of the blade and basically think of breaking it down like that obviously this is a lot smaller than a centimeter but that's kind of an easy way to explain it i think so now i'm going to add some more white to the previous mix once we've added this to it we're going to carry on the same again as we did lightening the edge of the blade where the lightning is going to it lightening the edge of the aquila where the lightning is going to that and also lightening the sections where bits of lightning are joining together or crossing over You can see the dark blue to the light blue on the blade at the back there, how that is coming along. It has that nice light blue at the top, that band of light blue to dark blue where you've put the shade and then the light blue at the edge with the power field running over the top of that. What I tend to find is that when you're looking at a blade like that, your eyes are drawn to the power field rather than the background to it. And so by just using the shade and the Araman blue, you can get that looking nice behind it. Then you put the lightning effect over the top of it, and it just looks really, really nice. So we've just added a little bit more white to the previous mix. And we are now adding another little layer towards the edge of the blade. As you can start to see now, you can see the lighter sections on the lightning. So you have those bits at the edge of the blade, you have those bits where it joins onto the Aquila and where those little lightning sections join together. You have this nice little lighter shade of blue. By building it up like this, you can get it all the way up to white with maybe about five layers or four layers, depending on how much you want to do. The more you do, the smoother you can get it. Obviously, the more time it will take, and the smaller brush you need, the steadier hands that you need. So I tend to do about maybe four, five tops layers, depending on the size of it. I think this one's only got three or four layers with adding white and then a little spot of white at the end. So now I'm mixing a bit more white with the previous layer, or with the previous mix, I should say. And we are now going to continue highlighting the top and the bottom of these lightning bits. Did a little bit too much with that one there. But lightning isn't that uniform, so it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just doing the very edges, the very, not quite the very center of the crossover part. We just wanna leave enough space that we can do a little spot of white or a little touch of white on each of those sections. And that will give you that final bit of brightness to the blade. I'll link up the paint jobs for the custodies and how to do the custodies cloaks as well. Those nice red robes that they wear. There's a video on both of those so I'll link them up here. And hopefully they should be some use if you're coming to paint your custodies. You just want to have a look at some quick and easy ways to paint up your miniatures and get them looking great on the tabletop. So this is the final layer now. We're going to use some Vallejo White just on its own. We're going to put a little spot of Vallejo White at each of those joins. Just a little tiny bit. We're also going to use this to do the edge of the blade and the bits that join it. And then finally we will be running paint all the way around the edge of this flat part here. So quite a few little bits to do with this. But once finished, you'll have a really nice looking power blade. Like so.
Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.